Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm not looking at you guys right now because I'm doing my face. I am actually on my way to a shoot. Um, by listen to this parrot. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I'm actually on my way to a shoot. Um, by a brand that you guys will probably know that I love. I love, love, love. Um, so you can already imagine the shoot has nothing to do with makeup. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing my own makeup. However, uh, do you know the funny thing is? As I was filming without the, without the sound and I was having music playing in the back, this parrot wasn't going off. The moment I switched my camera on, boom. Boom, Felicia. So, uh, what I'm basically saying is that this shoot has nothing to do with makeup. Um, but it is definitely a shoot that if you do follow me, and it, more especially if you follow me a lot on uh, Instagram, you'll know that it's something I'm very, very excited about. Um, so I need to be there by 10. Um, they said that they're going to have a makeup artist there, but then I was just like, nah. I'll do my own makeup. It's not necessary. They gave me the option to do my own makeup because um, I think they follow me or something like that. They know that I can do my own makeup. So I'll to, to do my own makeup. Um, so really, really exciting. I am tired. It is quite early in the morning. But normally at this time, I am already up anyway. Um, I'm either at the office or I am here working from home um, and uh, I'm normally up it's just that my voice is giving you some sort of indication that it's quite early in the morning um, so just a little bit of updates while I sit here and do my makeup um, three days ago I started going to the gym and I've been at the gym I'll insert some clips I've been at the gym for three sessions now. Um, so my body right now is in a lot of pain. And thankfully, I don't want to tell you what the shoot is about, but thankfully, clothes and stuff, I can wear whatever I want to wear as long as it's black. So I'm happy about that. Um, so my body is in a lot of pain and because of that, I don't want to wear anything too tight or whatever. I just want to wear slacks. I want to be relaxed. I can barely walk. So Lloyd is grinding me right now. It's crazy. So I'm sure I'll insert some clips. I'm sure you guys can see. Um, aside from that, that's one thing. Um, this is the first time of me being back at the gym since uh pre-covid and i used to go to the gym three times a week so my body was quite was quite good man i was quite toned uh right now i mean i normally got on the bike at i think uh level four of the bike level three level four sometimes and i'd get on there for and i'd go for about 10 15 k's like I would break a sweat, but I would go for 10, 15 Ks, which would be a couple of minutes on the bike, maybe like 20, 30, 45, maybe, I don't remember. Um, now I can't even go five minutes. <laughs> I haven't really gained weight, but I'm very unfit right now. So it's a lot, it's a lot. Let me get my, eye. ah, fuck. My reading has been going exceptionally well. I'm actually gonna be starting another book this Today, probably after I come back from the shoot, I'll go sit somewhere, have coffee, have lunch, read. This is the book I'm going to start today. This is His Only Wife by Peace Adzo Midi. It's a Reese with a Spoon book club pick. So, decided to go with it. Um, so now currently, so I've read those, what, three books in the last, what, two weeks. So that's good. And then now we're going to read... Um, look, need a little bit more coverage here because there's barely any foundation here. Can you, um, maybe it's not that bad. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. I'll probably touch base with you guys again before I leave when I have to change. I have to obviously change my clothes and all of that. Uh, put on some jewelry, makeup, 
jewelry. And then um, I'll touch base with you guys a little bit before I leave. Is there something else? I want to change up this room for winter. The colors that were here have been brown since summertime. The shoes, whatever, I want to switch those to black. So uh, black bags, black shoes. We're pretty much going to play around with that when we come back from the shoot. If I have the energy because my body is so sore. I need like an Epsom salt bath because wow. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. Something is not sitting right up here. And it's pissing me off. Gone. Um, I'm pretty much done. I'm a little bit annoyed because I cut this lash shorter than this one. So if you look, that one looks a little bit longer than this one. But it doesn't matter. No one's going to see that except me. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to put my lipstick on now because they're going fid to fidget with parts of my head <laughs> before the shoot happens. So I'll only put the lipstick on. I'll touch up everything. I've got everything in here. got my Fix Plus. got everything in here. Uh, my powder, all of that, and the lip stuff. So I can't decide whether I want to keep it. Uh, neutral or make it a pop of red, which I feel like it should be the red. Personally, I feel like it should. All right, so this is me done. Um, at least I am in slacks. I'm feeling very, very comfortable because my body's in a lot of pain. <laughs> so uh, wearing slacks makes me helps me uh, move a little bit. Uh, wearing slacks helps me move. So yeah, this is pretty much what I'm wearing for the shoot. Trust me, it'll all make sense. You're probably wondering, what the fuck? Like you're doing your own makeup? You're wearing your own clothes? What kind of shoot is this? You'll see, you'll see. It has nothing to do with makeup and clothes, but you'll see. So, uh, but my face is gonna be in the shot, so. Can you guess? Like if you're at this point of the video, can you actually guess what kind of shoot I'd probably be going to? My face is gonna be in the shot. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let me go. I'm heading out. Uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. I'll see if I can get some footage for you guys at the shoot. But yeah, that's me. Very, very comfortable. These are baggy, great. They feel amazing. So I'm gonna go and um, we'll talk later. Okay, guess bye. where I am? If you know me, you know me. <laughs> I am at the Legends Barbershop head office. So yeah, I'm doing a little some song with the Legends. Uh, really really crazy i was so excited when they reached out to me major major in this piece this means a lot to me um i'm a little bit late so i'm gonna go in now they're probably gonna give me a fresh cut as well uh it's that kind of shoot that's why i was like i need to have my face done but it will be like part of my face yeah okay let me go in i'll talk to you guys in a little bit so excited so excited ah! plus a fresh cut oh guys come on So I just finished up at Legends, great, look at the cut, look at the fade, do you see it? I was here for something a little bit special, can't really talk about it until it's up, it's going on, but you'll see it very very soon. Thank you so much to everybody at Legends, thank you to Dre who's behind the camera, he's the one doing the things. He's the one doing the things, Andile, my barber, he's the one who cut my hair, listen, 
I had a great time. Thank you so much, Legends. If you are somebody who's got short hair and you wanna, you wanna fit, you want a nice cut. Like seriously, a nice cut, not just a cut from Brajo there on the corner. If you want a nice cut with a nice fade with a <laughs> Legends, just Google it. Legends Barbershop. Just Google it. You'll see it. You'll see all the things. Uh, yeah, until the next clip, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm hungry. See you guys. Hi. 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 It's a new day and it's Saturday today. I'm about to head out to meet Palissa for a quick drink. Um, very, very chilled, laid back, I'm wearing a dress and some, uh, sandals. <sighs> gonna go out, goodness knows I need to go out and just step out for a little bit. Um, the last footage that you guys saw was the Legends one. There's quite a few things that I want to show you before I close out this vlog. So I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna film me being out with Palesa. Did I tell you guys I've got extra piercings? I didn't tell you, I didn't. Uh, my lips are looking kind of like my face because I haven't put lip product on. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that when I get there. But yeah, let's go. I don't know, she's taking me to some place called Milk and Honey. I don't even know what it is. Uh, it's, I don't live in Balissa's neck of the woods, but I am gonna go and meet her and we're gonna chill and hang out for a bit. Um, yeah, and maybe I'll vlog her and all of that, but I'm out. Okay, hey everybody, what's good? It is currently 12.06 on April 11th. It's a Sunday today. I'm having a very strong cup of coffee because it was a long night yesterday. Um, I went out with Balesa, came back to her place. We stayed up for a little bit. Um, we had a lot to drink. So here I am. I just wanted to do a little bit of an update. Um, let me bring you guys closer, shall I? So just wanted to bring you guys a little bit closer. So as an update, um, I've been going to gym. My body is, a <laughs> is very sore. I think I mentioned that when I was doing my makeup at the start of this video. Um, so I'm kind of struggling with doing a lot of things like, like crossing my legs. <laughs> and uh, reaching over to my foot and things like that. If you go to gym, you know how it feels. The first week of gym is kind of a bitch. Um, uh, today is Sunday. I am going to vlog. I've got a book review coming up at two o'clock. So I need to prepare for that in about an hour or so. And then um, a book review for Brown Skin Reads, in case you're not aware. Um, but I am, just a little bit of an update, I am going to be taking a little bit of a break from Brown Skin Reads for the next two months um, because I have a lot on my plate. And 
because I have a lot on my plate, I'm not getting things done at the pace that I want to get them done because I've got this and that and that and that. There's so many things that are, there's so many things that are falling behind, um, things that should have been done this month or should be done this month. And I mean, in the month of April and I'm kind of falling behind with those things and I'm really, really stressed. So. I had to cut out some of the things that I do. I, I, I do a lot, okay? I do a lot, <laughs> um, uh, you know, and I had to just find a way to, as much as I time manage quite well, but when you've got a lot on your plate, it's impossible for you to do everything to the best of your ability um, the way you would like to do it. Um, so, no, no. Is this on automatic? Is it moving with me? Okay, very good. Um, so I've decided to take a little bit of a break from brown skin reads because work as well is kind of picking up and I'm going to the office now a lot more often. So I just don't have the time to be doing everything and then committing myself to reading a, a book. Um, I want to read it at my own pace and not rush myself. So I decided that brown skin reads needs to take a little bit of a break along with a couple of other things. But nevertheless, life does go on and doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not reading. I am reading and I'm still reading this. <laughs> I'm about three quarters of the way done with this. If you don't know about The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones, um, if you don't know the synopsis, it is in my last vlog. I talk about it in my last vlog, so I'm not going to get into this. But I'm currently reading two books at the moment. So I'm reading this one and I'm reading this one. This is His Only Good Wife uh, by Peace Adzo Medi. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, not too far in with this one. I literally started it yesterday. Uh, two days ago and I haven't really gotten a chance to pick it up so it's essentially um, a story about a woman who marries into a wealthy family she marries um, um, her husband Eli Kim but the funny thing is he's not even present for his wedding um, but she marries him because she does not come from a well-off family and um, it just seems like the best decision to do so that she can you know, her family can be set, her family can be set for life, basically, if she marries into this wealthy family. But, um, of course, uh, troubles will arise and all of that because she's marrying into a wealthy family and there's, there's problems, there's issues. Um, she barely knows her husband who's constantly away or not present. And, um, yeah, she must balance... The often conflicting roles of wife, daughter, niece, and sister-in-law without losing sight of herself. So it seems quite interesting. I'm not as I'm not too far in. I'm literally like ten pages in. Okay, so I um, might try and read later on today. We'll see how it goes. But I do want to go home and see my family. I haven't seen them in a while, so we'll see how this goes. But the cover, the cover, okay, the cover. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we're saying. Thank the book that I did finish is the book that I am going to be reviewing for the book club. This is where the crawdads sing. I don't know if I spoke about it earlier on in the vlog. I think I did. So I'm not going to talk much about it. It's essentially, you could say, a coming of age story about a girl um, called named Kaya who grows up in the marshlands of a certain small town, Barclay Cove. And... Um, from when she was young, when she's six years old, her family leaves her, like her mother, the book opens with her mother walking out on her family and then her brothers and her sisters follow and and all of that. And she is uh, left with is initially her father, but then she's left alone. And she is, we follow her life of her fending for herself. It's in two different time periods because there's also a murder here so this is a little bit of a slow read but i did enjoy it it's a slow cozy you know uh read it doesn't really have much of a plot line uh but it is very very descriptive and the character um analysis of the 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 characters in this book is amazing i really really enjoyed it i didn't think i would but um yeah i gave it a four out of five i'll give it a four out of five the the people who are in the book club 
don't know that yet because the book review is this afternoon. Okay. How's about this cup though? Look at this cup. Cute. Cute, right? Cute. Um, I got this cup from Typo. And I got three of them for 200 Rand. The initial retail price for one. Let me show you something from Mac as well. But the initial price for one is 80 bucks. And I got three of them for 200 rand. So it's a little bit of a save. It's not a crazy save, but it's a little bit of a save. Um, and the second one that I got, I love these. For when my friends come over for coffee, I like uh, different cups as well. I'm just a cup lover. I don't know where I want this to end because I'm running out of space in my cupboards because of all the cups that I have. So the second one is, this one is Seize the Fucking Day, which is really, really cool. I like that same sort of color um, scheme as this one. Really, really like that. And then my favorite one is uh, Alexa, take me to 5 p.m. on Friday. That's really, really cute. And I love that brown. That brown is really, really cute. <sighs> this coffee is nice. I don't know what it's called. I got these capsules from Palisa's place. Um, but it's a level nine, so it, it is a, quite a strong coffee, but it's good. So, had to get a couple of uh, repurchases from Mac. Uh, I haven't gone to Mac in a very, very long time. So, what I needed to pick up is my Mac Fix Plus spray. I think we all know what this is by now. I don't have to tell you. Um, the Mac Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark. I hope it's in dark. I hope she gave me. Um, I hope she gave me dark, girl. Oh yeah, it's in dark. <laughs> um, this is basically my everyday uh, powder. So that's pretty much what it looks like. This is what I use to set. Oops. This is what I use to set my makeup every single day. We love it. An extra purchase that I had to get. You guys always see me with the red lipsticks on. Red lipstick. A lot of the time it's this. And I had it. And when I went to Muledi Gorge with Naledi, I had it. But then I can't find it anymore. I don't know. Maybe it, if it may have gotten mixed up with Naledi's makeup. Because we just had our makeup strewn all over uh, the table. So I'm thinking that maybe she might have packed it into her makeup bag which is fine it's not fine but it's not fine but it's fine but it's not fine um <laughs> so i got the um, uh what is this the retro matte liquid lip color my favorite one which is feels so grand that's what it looks like that's what it looks like easy easy red one of my favorite reds just gorgeous and smells delicious of course uh, another thing that i went out to go purchase which i haven't purchased in a while is my skincare now my skincare is sold at woolies but you can find it at take a lot you can find it at take a lot as well and if you've been following this channel for a while you will know what my favorite skincare brand is and it is skin creamery now my skin has it looks even better now. <laughs> it looks even better now, but I don't have problematic skin. As I've grown older, my skin just works with me. And um, it looks even better. There's times where I'll have a little bit of texture, but very, very rare because I drink a lot of water. I can tell you right now that water is the secret key to skin success. Because I haven't been having a little bit of zang, zang, zig, zang, zing, 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 zing. I haven't do, been doing that because that's also great for the skin. But I haven't been doing much of that. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's water and also going to the gym as well is also going to help my skin quite a lot because of sweating and all of that. So, I had to repurchase uh, my favorite fi financial my favorite uh, facial hydrating oil you guys know this you guys know i've talked about this a lot of times on my channel but i'll show you anyway then yeah, my favorite fine fi financial why do i keep saying financial my favorite facial oil is this one uh this is the jojoba melon seed and baobab oil i've always used this you guys know this i've used this i haven't even gone and used other brands since I've started using this um, because my skin is happy it's happy with this brand and then what's new to me is this Asamela Asamela Asme, Asmela Acmela 
flower, aloe, leaf, uh, chlorophyll, which is a water cream. So I picked this up as well. And it's the blue one. So I really, really want to try this. This is a new one for me. So I'm really, really uh, keen on trying this one out. I don't know. Ugh, the packaging for this brand, amazing. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. It smells so fresh, man. It's plant like botanical. Love it. Mm -hmm. Very light. Very light compared to this. This is what I use every day for my face. This is the Skin Creamery uh, Coconut Jojoba and Baobab um, Everyday Cream. That's what it looks like. There we go. So that's what that one looks like. That's the one I use every single day. This is my everyday cream. I decided this time around to get the bigger size because, uh, but it lasted me. Even the one in the um, round tub, that one lasted me maybe three, four months. So really, it's a long time. Um, this one, because it's lighter, it would probably be something I would use uh when i come back from the gym or you know just something really quick for the mornings and then i'd probably have a heavier cream for the evening so that it just seeps and soaks into my skin that would be nice definitely yeah 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 something heavier for them for the evening and lighter for the day um just another one i need to make a shout out to i'll let you know her birthday was at the end of march and I kept on forgetting. Um, uh, I, I need to make a shout out to Mpo Sasa. And Mpo, um, her friend, she's got a really great friend. Her friend Siluane um, from Lesotho, they're both from Lesotho, uh, sent me an email and said, listen, Katleo, Mpo loves your channel. And I, I would really like to just ask you if you could shout her out um, on your channel and she would love this. So here we are. Hi, um, happy belated birthday, very, very late. Happy belated birthday. I hope you had a great day on that day. Thank you so much to you and your friend for following my channel. I really, really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. So I hope you enjoy your shout, shout out. I hope you're good. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're staying safe. And um, Siluane, you're a great friend. You're a great friend for what you did. So thank you. Thank you, guys. And then just one more thing. Olaf, Olerato uh, from Mommy and Baby Approved. Um, I speak to Olerato on WhatsApp every couple of days. So, you know, but I wanted to shout her out again on my channel. Congratulations. She got married. And my goodness, the footage and the pictures that I'm seeing and all of that. I really, really, I wish I was there. Pretty much, because I talk to her often. I really wish I was there, but I get, you know, with COVID and everything, maybe she was quite restricted with her invites and all of that. But I wanted to congratulate her. She's got a channel, uh, Mummy and Baby Approved. It is on YouTube. Check it out. Great channel about just essentially her life and her babies. And, um, yeah, so I wanted to, from friend to friend, shout you out and congratulate you. Okay. Now I'm going to tidy up this room and you guys are going to watch because there's nothing I need to say to you guys to show you me tidying up. I'm going to tidy this up, tidy this mess up, and then uh, we'll talk a little bit later. Okay, bye. There's no food in this vlog, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nope. Nope. See see how I struggle to get up? See? Okay. Uh. Bye. Pins and needles. Ah, pins and needles. Oh, damn. Fuck. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the bags uh, and the shoes. I'm not quite crazy about the bags. I don't, I feel like I should make it two small black bags, two big bags. 
let me know I'm gonna show you and then I'll show you the shoes as well and I'm pretty much gonna tidy up the rest of this room because here we are um, yeah it's kind of a little bit of a tip so I'm gonna tidy that up Thank you.